this is Greg here to talk about the Sittern. This is a 10 stringer made by P.W. Crump in Arcata, California. This is the big Irish type, nice and thick. I just wanted to talk in about five minutes about some tuning ideas. The tuning that I have this in is D, A, E, A, and D. The way I tune it, what I would like to share is I would take the first, uh, the middle strings first, which would include the A, E, and the A, and just get your bearings, getting your scales on that first before incorporating the other strings. Here's a couple ideas. Here it is, just the three middle strings. Major scale. Minor scale. are just really important sort of grounding area uh, for this instrument. Once you get your bearings with that, and you can do a lot of chords with that too actually. Example, ascending, and then square yourself off. Uh, uh, what about Led Zeppelin? you can incorporate the top string and here's how the three plus the littlest one looks like. There's some tension there and you can square yourself off this way by putting the index on the second fret on the littlest string. Suddenly you're sort of in the British Isles is what I think of. this way, square up again, and then some lower chords might, uh, might be on these strings. Suspension, diminished, and maybe here's a song you might recognize. Um, Just with the four. Um, you don't always have to play in this key either, which would be the key of A. By going to the E, and then guitar players, take your index like this and go on the these two strings, just like an A chord, you can hit your rock and roll. ascending and descending scale, a little uh, bluesy thing, or you can work on your uh, just pentatonics, right? Since this is a double stringed instrument, your fingers get strong without, um, by default, because there's a little more to press down than just one string. So, once we've done those four, the next challenge is to put in this big fat one here. Now here's what it sounds like without pushing anything. It's sort of a tension, awesome filled sound. If you're, use, if you're in the key of A, then maybe that's your first little chord that you're starting with. You can get your four by doing this, which is simply pushing on the second fret of the third string. Here's how it might sound. Some other ideas might 
would be this. start to do your ascending chord, you can, uh, let's see, what would that look like? And then, okay, there's a lot of ideas in this, but I would encourage you to find one of these. Here's how you do it. There's a lot of builders of these out there, but you got to know where to find them. The one that I would suggest is, this is Phil Crump, Arcata, California. Uh, you can find him on Google, P.W. Crump, and it'll take you to his website. There's a guy up in Vancouver, Canada, named Lawrence Nyberg. Uh, let's see, Lawrence's phone number is 888-335-0487. You can also find him at nybergginstruments.com. I've seen these, they're excellent, and he'll custom build you either a four course or a five. And if you want to go the cheaper route, just go to Lark in the Morning. Uh, they'll, it'll bring you up to their website and look under Mandolin, and then scroll down and you will find uh, these Hoya bazookis, I think they are. They're made in Romania. They're actually reasonable. They're like $400. Um, and it's, it's, the quality is okay. They're all wood, and it's uh, European and uh, they're actually decent. So, guys, have fun. I'd encourage you to get one of these. Have a good day. Bye.